All right, what's up y'all, it's Laker fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, we have my final version of the Meta Center build in NBA 2K25, the seven foot one popper build. So shout out to 2K, they're allowing me early access 24 hours in advance to allow you guys an opportunity to get some detailed dives like this. And this is the early tip off. So long story short, <laughs> I have early access to the game and I'm getting on here to explain to you guys how to avoid screwing up certain things about your build. And in this case, I showed you guys a couple of days ago, this exact build. However, I want to let you know about a couple minor tweaks that we need to put on it. And this is gonna allow you the opportunity to really capitalize on the fact that you don't have to screw this up to learn it. So as you can see, we have a 75 three pointer instead of a 74 this time. The last time I created this, it was a max wingspan build and it had 80 mid range with a 74 three pointer because that was all we needed for like the badges and stuff. So I wasn't too worried about it. But in this case, I've done a little bit more deep diving on the takeovers and stuff like that. So this build is the perfect example of it that would have missed out on a great takeover. And you absolutely want this with a popper build like this. So let's go ahead and show you what we're talking about. Okay, so you won't have the opportunity to get fluid shooter because this is gonna require an 85 three pointer and a 75 mid range. And this would have been bu buffing just the midi and the three pointer. But in this case, what you can get is glass gunner, which is by far the best takeover you could possibly get as a popping center. So you can see this is buffing your ratings by eight. Every other takeover in the game, except for rebounding related ones, are only going to buff your takeover by seven, or like, you know, your ratings by seven. And on top of that, you can see strictly shooting takeovers, like ones that only buff your three pointer, only give it plus 10. Most takeovers give plus 15. So this is the most broken takeover in regards to the attributes that you're getting buffed. And in this case, it's giving you rebound and shooting on both ends of the rebounding as well. So you need a 75 three pointer and then either an 85 O board or an 85 D board to be able to get this takeover. And in which case, like I said, a slight revision to the build to be able to get 75 three-pointer is massive compared to being a 74 three-pointer. So I wanted to look out for you guys and post this video to be able to update you on the fact that if you're really interested in that build originally, or if you're just interested in this build period, that you definitely want the 75 three-pointer. All right, so for those of you who already knew how the build entirely works and stuff like that, you already watched the breakdown of it, I appreciate you for watching. If you wanna continue to watch this and just know my updated opinions on the build, feel free to. But if you made it to this point, and you already watched the video, just put 7-1 in the comments to sort of support you made it to this point. But for those of you who are seeing this for the first time, let me give you a more deep dive explanation on how the build actually works. So the 90 standing dunk is gonna give you the gold rise up and the elite contact dunk packages for standing dunks, obviously. Now what this build is mainly intended for is to play pro-am and rec, in my opinion. I think any other setting is not exactly desirable, but I will say I think this could definitely still fit in on twos with another point guard on your team, as long as he can play perimeter defense and then this could still play on threes realistically. I know people are a little bit turned off to the whole speed thing, but I'm telling y'all, these builds can get away playing park in my opinion, at least right now. When, it, when we're talking like stage or comp three setting and stuff like that, it will be a lot harder for you to compete because obviously you need to really have great perimeter defense and you can't get exposed by those guards and stuff like that. But right now, especially, and just in general, it seems like this game's gonna be a bit hard to dribble in you're gonna be able to get away with it, in my opinion. And like I said, it really comes down to stick too, because like, you could definitely still make it work. I was out there guarding ball on a 6'10", like earlier today with no on-ball menace or anything like that. And I mean, I felt great on defense with the agility and the speed and stuff like that. So again, this build is lacking the agility, for sure. Like, you're not gonna be great guarding ball, but you can definitely still play the corner in Pro-Am, and that's what this is intended for, is to be a corner defender that's being a dropper, where as you're sitting stationary in the corner, rotations are going to be sent to, toward you. So like, let's say for instance, you're in the corner defense and the hash is near you, and the pick and roll defense got beat, and then they need someone to rotate down. That's gonna be you. You're gonna be dropping out the corner with the 84 block to have that paint patroller on silver, as well as good interior defense with the 83, as well and again this is going to be something that if you're playing rec and you're playing against an inside center or something like that you could sit paint very dominantly in my opinion and be able to play great rebounds that 96 rebound is going to give you the hoff rebound chaser and then you could even still cap break this to 99 for legend rebound chaser if you would like as well you're not gonna be able to get legend box out beast however you would need a 96 strength for that which is kind of od but 75 vertical is still very good the speed with ball is extremely cheap on this by the way like as you can see we'd have to take it all the way down to a 40 to even get one more defensive rebound if you really want that that's up to you if you think 11 speed with ball is worth you know like one defensive rebound rating that's totally fine but 81 mid-range should get you a lot better jump shots and stuff like that as well again combine that with the 90 standing dunk it's the perfect inside out center in my opinion and yes you may be a little bit worried about shooting with 75 three-pointer but at the end of the day it's meant to just be a threat that's at least there and the mid-range is enough to also still be good spacing and at the end of the day you guys don't want to be on either a 
a build that's a complete shrimp, or B, I know a lot of you guys, I'm okay with it, but a lot of you guys hate the idea of an inside center. So this is like the good bridge between it, where you're still an inside, but also have the threat of shooting on top of that. And again, you combine that with the sharp take that you're going to be getting with this, like you literally are going to have a shooting takeover <laughs> that gives you like three point buff all the way plus eight you're gonna have 83 83 three pointer when you're on takeover and then again you could be buffing your rebound ratings as well so i think this is a really good build i just wanted to at least detail that whole 75 three pointer situation to you guys and update you with that so yeah i mean besides that we have the 87 pass act for the gold break starter Again, I don't think this level of perimeter defense is awful, and you still get an immovable enforcer on bronze. So it's at least something as far as playing perimeter defense. And you get bronze interceptor. You could go lower on the steel rating, but it's like sort of the same thing as what I was just talking about. Is it really worth dropping six steel to be able to get like, you know, one block or five steel to get one block? It's up to you. You know, there's no badges correlated with it. But anyway, that's all for video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on notice, all good stuff. And like always, try one to 2,000 likes. If made it to the end of the video, put 7-1 or put meta in the comments to show your support to me all the way through. And I figured I'll just show you guys the build titles now. So as you can see, this is two-way inside the Arc Maestro. Not a super cool build name or anything, but hey, it's more so meant to be comp than it is cool, I guess, you know? So anyway, that's all for video. I hope you all enjoyed, and we will be continuing to do these revisions on the builds. Go ahead and show you better versions of how to create them. And, you know, now that we know all the information about animations and stuff like that, it's very, very important. Also, in case you guys didn't know, I'm pairing with NBA 2K Labs again this year. So you can use my code Laker at checkout for 20% off of any subscription link that you decide to go for. Obviously, what you're going to find on here is going to be really useful information that we're showing all across the whole screen right now. But mainly to be talked about is obviously the jump shot data. So the guys are cool enough to let me show you the information from the 2K24 premium jumper data. If you want the access to the 25 year, you'd obviously have to subscribe to their premium and, you know, using my code as well if you would like but as you can see like we have them sorted by speed right here you can sort by every one of these different individual categories right here between the fastest millisecond jump shots you can sort that by your individual height between the guards wings and bigs you can sort by speed green window the early middle and late end of the green window as well and then the total accumulation of all of that and I mean that's how I came to the conclusion that Terrence Mann was a really good base last year combining all that information crazy stuff so again to be able to find something like this in 25 you would be able to just sign up for the premium so what you're gonna do when you're ready to sign up you would just come over here and click register with whatever length of subscription you like to go for after you hit register it'll ask you to put in a promo code you just put in laker when you hit apply coupon right here and boom you're looking good with code laker you're gonna get 20 percent off your subscription if you guys would like to help me out i get a percentage based off your initial purchase only so a recurring bill like if you get a one month subscription i only get the one month that you sign up for initially and then anything past that i don't so if you do plan to go for like a three or a six or even a year-long subscription feel free to just you know do that if you want to support me but i understand not everybody wants to go for that so it's all good if you don't Anyway, appreciate you guys for watching. Let's get back to the video. So anyway, that's all video. Hope you all enjoyed. None of that. Take these, man. Peace.